So it looks like we've got quite a bit to discuss. We've got some comments about what's going on. Why is Sony having these state of plays that are such lower ends? And we're also going to be talking about a showcase happening and what's happening around that, why we didn't get a showcase last year and why we should be getting one soon this year. We're also going to be talking about Final Fantasy 16 and the preview embargo lifting very soon, some evidence behind that and uh, some really exciting stuff coming up this week. Now, before we jump into that, if you could do me a huge favor, like, subscribe, share the video, helps the channel a ton, really goes a long way. Now let's start with this entire state of play situation and uh, this uh, showcase situation. So Jeff Grubb had a few comments to make about why we're having state of plays and also about the showcase. So I'm gonna let him say it exactly straight from his mouth uh, just to make sure that everybody's assured that this is exactly the quote that's being made. And also it's like, I understand what these uh, state of plays are. They are an obligation. They are Sony meeting the application of, uh, of uh, to their, you know, their, their co-marketing partners. I'm gonna make a video about this this weekend, I think, where I just say like, what are these state of plays really? Why do these keep happening? And, and it, it, the answer is it's, it's simple. They tell developers and publishers that they wanna make a co-marketing deal with. We will put out a state of play and that's gonna count as so much money towards what we, what we consider the co-marketing deal. And so they have to do them, even if Sony itself is saving its own actual good stuff for something else, which is what's happening here. They're saving their good stuff for the PlayStation Showcase. That's gonna happen before E3. It was supposed to happen last fall. They kept pu pushing it back because their developers weren't ready. But now that they those developers are ready, they're gonna have, they should have a, a, a massive show that really sets up the second phase of the PlayStation 5. So there's a lot to be excited about. It's just the state of play was never gonna be that. So as he said himself, uh, his understanding is that it's a, a marketing deal. It's a co-marketing deal. It's it's a part of the deal that they have with these publishers uh, that they are going to do these state of plays, which makes sense why we get these very lackluster state of plays that don't really stimulate us typically. So to me, that explains quite a bit. It makes me understand the situation if it's to be believed as Jeff Grubb says it. Now, he also says that uh, last year, the reason we didn't have the showcase was because developers just weren't ready for it, um, which is fine. I mean, I that's totally get that. If they're not ready, they're not ready. And they were able to uh, let that time go because they weren't gonna have to do a, a showcase because they had so many big releases dropping in the same year, God of War, for example. But now we are to expect that developers are ready, a showcase is coming, and it's gonna be before E3. Whether that's May, whether that's early June, we don't know. Uh, there's no specification here, but uh, I expect that Sony will definitely be doing it around probably May or June if it's before E3, right? I mean, we can't just say all the months prior to E3 between now and then. That just doesn't make sense. But I think that May likely is looking like the most appealing time for them to do this. And we also know that, uh, you know, Final Fantasy 16 is supposed to get another showing very soon uh, in that time frame, uh, as well as the director had said so. Uh, to expect that they're going to do a showing three months prior to the release of Final Fantasy 16. So I think that's also another addition uh, to make this more valid, make us believe this more likely is the case. There's so much that could be shown here at this game's showcase. I feel like there's a, there's a lot of exciting announcements and they're going to definitely give us a lot to look forward to. I, I don't think it's going to be a letdown. I think they're going to do an amazing job. It's going to be very exciting. Um, and I can't wait to see that. When it comes to Final Fantasy 16's preview embargo, it seems that two Italian reviewers have stated that an important games embargo will expire at the end of the month and have hinted that it is Final Fantasy 16's preview. Obviously, do not take this as information as 100% certain. We will find out in the coming days. To avoid NDA problems, I will avoid specifying who they are. Interestingly enough, we had Skill Up uh, tweet out that he was drunk in Tokyo and then somebody had asked, are you in Tokyo for business or pleasure? He replied, work stuff. Can talk about it next week. Very excited. Great trip. And if that's not convincing enough, Andy Robinson's tweet that is now deleted says, sounds like FF16 previews are going up next week on places other than VGC, sadly. So if FF16 previews are going up, that means we're likely going to get a very, very nice look at the game. We're probably going to have something posted on the PlayStation blog. We're also going to have all the review, major review sites uh, put out a preview as well. So it's going to be a very exciting week for Final Fantasy 16. Looking forward to seeing what happens uh, with this game. Obviously, I'm really excited for it. I'm hoping everybody's thoughts are going to be overly positive because I do think Final Fantasy needs a mainline entry that's going to uh, definitely get people excited again. You know, 15 wasn't it. And obviously, 7 Remake is a remake of some sorts. So I don't really count that as a new mainline entry. Uh, so Final Fantasy 16, I'm hoping, will definitely move that needle for us. I do think that it has a lot of potential. The team that's behind it, the way it looks, 
I think there's a, a heavy focus on lore and story, and I think that that alone gets me most excited for Final Fantasy 16. So very good news, I'd say, and I think that uh, it'll be telling. It'll be telling what we see uh, come next week. I think that probably on a Monday or Tuesday, it'll likely get lifted. But that's all for today's video. Let me know what you guys think of all this information, the state of play situation, you know, it being a co-marketing deal. How do you feel about a showcase coming very soon and the reasoning behind why we didn't get a showcase last year? Uh, also, your thoughts on Final Fantasy 16's preview period uh, lifting or the embargo lifting and us getting a look at Final Fantasy 16. Are you excited for this game? Is this a make or break it type of deal? You're waiting for these previews and reviews to drop let me know. As always, if you have not subscribed already, please subscribe, like, comment, share the video. It helps the channel a ton. You can follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description. Thank you all for watching. We'll talk to you on the next one. Take care.